Get all your football news as it breaks with Football Flash. How are we doing guys? Welcome to you, FF Daily, sponsored by Football Flash. So, first piece of news we're going to get into today, obviously, was yesterday's game. Spurs, very, very comprehensive winners. 6-2 um, against Everton. Everton actually took the lead in that game through Theo Walcott. Um, but the one thing that I worried about when looking at the game before it had even started was the way that Everton was setting up. It looked very like that they could be caught on the counter-attack. They were very open. And as it turns out, they got exposed horribly. Um, and fair play to Spurs because, um, you know, they punished them. And at the end of the day, they got the victory. They got the three points. And everybody's um, now talking about them. And um, my issue with everything surrounding Spurs at the moment is the media and everyone else is hyping them up as being this great, amazing club that's doing amazing things, but they've not won anything. And all they're doing is exactly what Arsene Wenger used to do at Arsenal, year in, year out. Be comfortable in the top four, play lovely football, but ultimately not win anything. Now, Arsene Wenger used to get absolutely hammered by the media for doing that. And I believe one of the reasons why this is, because Arsenal are a big club. The expectation levels of Arsenal are massive. Top four, just playing beautiful football is not good enough. Spurs, they're a small club. So they're actually achieving something that they're not used to. That's why everyone's getting hyped about it. That's what I believe anyway, but they go, um, what are they, third in the league? Um, not far behind Man City now, given uh, the fact that Man City have lost a couple of games recently. So um, they're well in the mix at the moment, but I believe everyone's in the mix, apart from Liverpool, who are flying away from everyone at the moment. Um, so yeah, that is what it is. Um, next piece of news involves Manchester United. Luke Shaw, he's came out and spoke about Jose Mourinho and he said that you should, um, you know, be respecting Jose um, and, you know, remember the things that he did do at Manchester United. I know it's easy to forget, but he did actually win some trophies there. Um, and Luke Shaw has said that, you know, it's not nice to see that happen at the club. And, um, you know, you've got to respect what Jose did. Now, of course, Luke Shaw, he's been publicly um, ridiculed, should we say, by Jose Mourinho. But um, he's one of the first ones to come out in defence of the Portuguese man. So, um, yeah, very interesting. But I suppose, you know, once they get sacked, that's what normally happens. Players are not going to come out and start absolutely hammering a man. They'll come out in support and, you know, wish him well. So... Uh, there we go. Now, a bit of transfer news involving Arsenal. Uh, Nicolas Pepe. Um, I'm sure most of you know who he is. He's absolutely flying in the French League at the moment. Um, the goals, the assists, everything. And it's attracted a lot of clubs. Now, Arsenal are one of the main contenders for his signature. Um, and the Lille chairman was speaking this weekend. And he's saying that you're going to have to pay up to 80 million euros if you want him. Now, I was thinking around about the 40 million euro price. Um, but, I don't know, maybe kind of halfway in between there. Maybe 50, 60, something like that. Um, but you've got to pay the money because they're not going to want to lose him. Maybe one of the options that's being mentioned is that he could be bought and then loaned back till the end of the season. Maybe that's an option. Um, but we'll have to wait and see, no doubt. Um, week or so until the new year and that's when things really start hotting up because the January transfer window um, opens. So that is it for today's UFF Daily. It's Christmas Eve. I want to wish every single one of you a Merry Christmas, especially all of you in the comment section that um, love giving me abuse. <laughs> Merry Christmas to all of you. Um, hopefully your mum and dad will buy you a nice present, even though you haven't been behaving this year, yeah? <laughs>
Um, like I said, football flash links are in the description. Um, I'll be back tomorrow, Christmas Day. Until then, I'll see you a lot soon. I'm out of here.